everybody, it's Lisa with Lisa's Crafty Creations and today I'm here real quick to share my hot chocolate paper bag journal I've made. This is uh, going to be in my shop and it is just so cute. It's made with white paper bags, some vintage music paper, vintage accounting uh, sheets, um, a red paper bag, it's just a whole lot of fun, and as you can tell, it's super chunky, but it's only chunky because of the hot chocolate packets that are in it. If you take those out, it will be, you'll be able to use it, write in it, whatever. So let's get started. I have just a ribbon enclosure to hold it closed. Uh, the outside is a white paper bag, and I just have Christmas scrapbook paper on it, and this is the North Pole, the toy workshop with Christmas trees and the back is just plain. The spine, everything is sewn in. And you open it up and this is just a pocket with a little gingerbread uh, note card there. Then this is a vintage accounting sheet, it has a coin envelope decorated with vintage music and a gingerbread. And it just flips. You can actually stick stuff in there. You can write under it, have a little secret place. This is just a piece of so Santa's list. Writing, you can write on both sides. This is another pocket. And this is just a little scrapbook Merry Christmas paper where you can write down stuff. Then we have a Santa there. And this is a pocket if you wanted to stick a recipe for your own hot chocolate in there. Maybe a pack of hot chocolate. Then this is just our little gingerbread cupcake guy. And this is just a fold out piece of paper that you can write on. Then on this side we have a pocket with Rudolph. And a Merry Christmas tag that I got at the Dollar uh, Tree with some vintage music. Then you have, you can put photos there. On this side, I stamped just a piece of paper and there's an envelope. You can put whatever you want. You can stamp it, you can draw on it, write on it. And it's got some uh, trims. The trims are from A Tattered Dream on Etsy. I will link her shop below. She has beautiful trims. Then this is just a belly band and inside it is just a fun piece of folded paper that you can write on both sides of it and just folds up and then just a vintage cookbook paper then this is a pocket this is our red bag this is a pocket and then this is a paper teacup and we have some apple and cranberry tea packet stuck in there and there's a bag you could stick more tea uh, apple cider, hot cocoa, whatever you wanted. A, a ribbon, a fabric belly band. And you could just decorate that. And then these are a glassine envelope and a glassine bag. And we have some ephemera that you can just write on there. And then this is like a little matchbook book. And it's got different papers and they flip down and you can write on them with our little elf right there and when you flip this up look we have some dark chocolate hot cocoa in there nestle's and then again with our uh, glassine bags we have a small tag a medium and then a large one again the large one is from a dollar tree and then our vintage cookbook paper. And this is just a journaling card. And um, Christmas. Then some more hot chocolate. That's milk chocolate with marshmallows in that paper pocket. Oops. And then we've got. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Then here on the other side of the bag. We have a little corner flip up. You can write notes and it has a little winter bear. 
And then here is just some recipe cards. You can flip up and write your own uh, hot chocolate recipes if you want to. Then our, our paper bag pocket right here is some just regular milk chocolate with no marshmallows. Now on the back we have a little North Pole. Tell us what the North Pole is. And then this is just a sheet of paper that you can journal on. And we used a cupcake liner for a tuck spot. And another tuck spot and in the back. And this is also a bag here. You can stick things in. Now, you might be saying, well, it's so fat. How can you actually use that as a journal? Look what happens. You take out all the hot chocolate out of all of the bags. It actually lays very flat. So it's very usable this way. But as a gift, I thought it would be cute. You know, you can put your hot, different hot chocolates in. You have your one tea. Put your different hot chocolates in these bag openings. And there's more openings. You could just stuff it extra full, depending on what you want to do. And then the last one. And then put our ribbon on it. And like I said, to use it as an actual journal, all you have to do is take all the hot chocolate out and you can write on it. It's a great, cute little... Um, you know, mailman, um, teacher gift, even for the kids' stockings, they can get a variety of hot chocolate and they get a journal to write in. Could also do it as trade with friends, a bunco party, whatever you want. It's just that flexible and that cute. Like I said, it is puffy, but if you take out all the hot chocolates, no problem using it as an actual journal. Also, when you're giving it as a gift, be sure to include your favorite hot chocolate recipe in there or your favorite brand of hot chocolate and stick it in there. I'm also going to make some of these using tea, more teas than hot chocolates, also with apple ciders. So those should be in the shop in the next day or two. We are running super close to Christmas. I know we're only 15 days away from Christmas Day, guys. So I will try to get these listed and up in there. Uh, this one for sure today. And if I can get the other ones made in the next two days, they will be up by Wednesday. And the ordering for our shop is December 18th. December 18th if you want Christmas delivery. And that is only shipping priority. So be sure and check out Lisa's Crafty Creations on Etsy. The link is below. And I will link uh, a Tatter Dreams for her trims too. Also, another great shop if you're looking for some bling to go um, give us gifts. Uh, check out Liz. Uh, hey, it's Liz on YouTube. And her Etsy shop is Liz Crafts and Gifts on Etsy. I will link both her YouTube channel and her shop below. So please be sure and go subscribe to her channel as well. And give her shop a heart. Because that helps us out. Thanks guys. See you later. Bye.